Sierra says a lot of women talk about Sierra's prayer, but when a God sends a good man, they don't want them. Is that true? I cannot speak for them. I can only speak for me. Because when the universe sent mine to me, baby. You was ready. You was ready. When he sent that man to me, even this morning, I thank the universe for that man right there. Before I came on air with you, I was talking to him. I know. He said, Mama, you heard me talking. I, I said, yes, hey, Daddy. Yeah. yeah, I did. Because we've not been trained. We've not been conditioned to understand you. We've been trained to fight against you. Right. We've been trained to go against you. We've watched our mamas, our grandmamas, our aunties speak ill of a black man. Mm -hmm. So now when a black man comes and he good, you waiting for the bad because grandmama told you black men one shit. Mama told you black one one shit. Your auntie said black men ain't shit. So all you have in your mind is black men ain't shit. And so when you get that beautiful black man, he's now got to say to you, erase everything they taught you. Right. Cause I'm here. Or you then you treat him like that, and then he goes, and then you talk about. Now you're mad because he didn't want you to white girl, Shannon. <laughs> now y'all start treating Shannon good, okay? Start treating him good. Now Shannon, I got to catch my plane. Okay, this is the last Unless one. Unless you want to send me back on your jet. I wish I had one. Mo. I wish I had one. But I'm gonna get you out here on this. See one. what y'all did. You heard what Shaq said. Shaq what said he say? they asked Shaq, should a man open up to a woman? Shaq said no. He says, because if you do, they're going to use it against you. He said, because if I break, if I'm crying about something, they're going to say the first time they get mad, they're going to say, see, you crying because your daddy said what he said. How do you take advice from a man who has no woman? And I love Shaq. But how do you take advice from my brother that has no one? Okay. If you have that person in your life and you say, listen, I'm dealing, I'm going through. Who else do you talk to at nighttime in your pillow talk? Who else do you share your life with? Who are you sharing with your life with, Shaq? Do you tell another man about your situation? And does he make you feel better? Like, who do you share your life with? So I don't agree with that but, at all. And I love my brother, but I don't agree with that. I think that makes division. Because if I got to call my girl and I talk to my husband, right? When I heard Oprah say, and these are her words, not mine. She said, when I be stressed out and I be going through it after the show, I will come home and Gail could calm me down and put me to sleep. What you say? What's that, man? Okay, then you said it. I'm going to sit. Nope, nope. I'm going to get Oprah on here. I'm going to get Oprah on the show. But those are her words. So I, I, I believe that partnership is partnership all the way around. When I leave this earth, there is nothing my husband will not know right. about me and the other way around. Did you know after your first two marriages, you going to get married again? Yes. Because my first two marriages were just marriages of... My first marriage was you just couldn't have the, the, the milk without buying the cow. Right. That was the first marriage. Right. And we were boxers. Okay. And we were Friday night fights. Okay? <laughs> okay? We were Friday... It wasn't domestic violence. We right. was Friday night fights. Right. Okay? I took an L sometime, but sometime I didn't. Right. Okay? <laughs> okay? 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 The second one was I couldn't afford to pay my rent. Right. And I didn't want to have a boyfriend. Right. So that's why I say this is the first time I've really been married. Right. You know, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm wanted to ask people that that I hear our community call, you know, the community call me up. Yes. And they call you auntie. Yes. Do you wear that with a badge of courage like I do? I wear it. That was such an honor for you babies to put auntie on my name. Do y'all know how that made me feel? Mm -hmm. And I'm not the auntie that's going to tell you the shit that you want to hear. I'm the auntie that's going to tell you what you need to hear. So for the things that I have said about our community and our babies and our sisters, I cannot back down because y'all gave me the title. I didn't ask for it. But when they gave it to me, Shannon, that was the universe saying, you now sit in that seat. Yep. You are now responsible. Yes. That's why I must speak out and I must speak loudly and I must say it to the top of my lungs because God damn if Fannie Lou Hamer didn't do it for me. Right. God damn if Eartha Kitt didn't do it for me. God damn if Moms Mabel didn't do it for me. The ones that came before us and there's a woman still alive named Sylvia Traymore Morrison. That woman got paid in a Coca-Cola. That woman got paid in a Coca-Cola at her next gig and $5. She was the first black woman to write for Saturday Night Live, but they have her listed as a production assistant. And she's still alive. That's why I speak the way I speak, because I will not let them wash her out of history as if she never existed. Wow. Dating. What what advice? If, somebody, if, if, if a group of women were in here and they're like, uh, come on. Oh, they talk to us. How, oh, oh, this dating thing, because this is 
It's, Mo, it's different now. Than when, I, you and, when you and I... Was it's di different, baby. I'm grateful I'm not 56 and trying. Are you trying to say that? What you trying to say, Mo? I'm you looking right at you, I know you looking at me. I ain't saying. backing down. You better take your old ass and get somebody to love you. Damn, Mo! Now I'm looking right Let at y'all. Let me tell y'all what Shannon need. Let okay? me leave my Let life. Let me tell you what my baby need. He need him an old fat gal who can <laughs> bake good cakes, make some smothered turkey wings, who gonna rub his feet at the nighttime, okay, and gonna have a sip of his cognac to make him feel better about himself when he come home at night. That's what Shannon need. You don't need no 26-year-old girl. You don't need no 30 six year old girl. I this, do. This is your auntie talking to you. Take your old ass and get your old bitch out there that can love you old. You're trying to hang out with these young bitches and you're, you can't do it, Shannon. You just can't do it. Dang. When they want you to go for the fourth round, you looking at her like, bitch, listen, I need you. want some money to go to Starbucks? Yeah, because yeah. I can't go no further. But if you get your older girl, when you get to that fourth round, she's going to say, hold on. Hold on. Let me go get you some eggs and cheese <laughs> and some toast with apple butter because that's going to get your energy back up. I'm talking right to you. Shit. So he thought I was going to be scared. To see <laughs> talk yes, I'm talking. And I know an old gal. She'd be good to you. Her name is Eladora. Now, when you know somebody named Eladora, yeah, she's yeah. old school. Mm -hmm. Now, Miss Eladora told me to tell you. She said, I think he like red velvet. Oh, I do. I do. I say, Miss Eladora, if he do like that, she say, you let him know I got something for him. Yeah, I like that. And she Red don't Velvet. have no teeth. Come on, pick your glass up and clack, clack it for me. Come on Red now. Red These young Red gals Red will bite you. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Okay, I got, guess I got to come on home. Come on home, Shannon. And y'all stop putting lies out about my brother because I was in my feelings when y'all said he didn't date black women. Y'all stop that shit. <laughs> You stop it. Now, he might throw a white one in there every now and again. <laughs> and it's okay. It's okay. Because sometimes, they, you know, we ain't into everything. Yeah. We don't do everything. So sometimes Uncle Shay Shay need a spice of life. Yeah, see? There you he go. need to go across the street, but he always going to come back. That's all we say to you, Oprah and Tyler. Come on home. <laughs> come on home. Come on home. Come on home. Remember when you said, and I don't know if you said this, so I don't want to quote it because I could be wrong. Okay. But someone said, Shannon Sharp don't mess with black women. Mm -hmm. And before you go any further, can I say this? Please. My grandmother told me something when I was a little boy. She said, boy, never chase a lie. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Uh, why? And you never said that, right? I, I've never said Okay, that. so that's why I said. I got black kids. That's what I said. I said, them babies black, black. Yes. They not confusing. Yes. We ain't trying to see if she Latin or Dominican. They black, black. Okay. They mama got black, black. Everybody yes. that she yes. didn't mess with yes. was black, black. Yes. Right? Yes. Black, black. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.